The safe clip in my mind is the safest way you can tie a horse. This is what the safe clip looks like. When you use a safe clip, take your own lead rope, fold it in half, put it through the bottom of the clip and over the top. When I'm choosing which lead rope to use for the clip, there's one rule that I follow. When I choose the rope, when I take it and I fold it in half, if I have a difficult time like this older rope here, it's difficult for me to get it through that bottom hole while it's folded over. I can force it through, but this rope is just gonna be too stiff to work correctly. It's not gonna flow through the clip very well, and that's not what I want. What I do want is a rope that is easier to get through the bottom hole and over the top. I go get my horse and I clip them up to wherever I have a ring available, the side of my trailer, the wash stall in my barn. Wherever I'm at, I can change the length of my rope without tying and untying. When I adjust the length of my rope, I make sure that the rope is on top of the clamping device. When I'm happy with the length of my lead rope, I just set it down in the middle, put it into that clamping device on the clip, and make sure I know how much drag is on the lead rope. If I want to increase the amount of drag on the lead rope, I just tighten that screw. It puts more of a pinch on the rope, and it makes it much more difficult for that horse to be able to draw that rope through the clip. When I'm outside standing on green grass, I definitely want to tighten that screw because I don't want my horse to feel like he can just inch that lead rope out and eat the grass at his feet. My second line of defense can be a stopper knot somewhere in this side of my rope. It's very easy not to do. Make a loop, put it through, and pull it down. If that horse pulls back and goes all the way to that stopper knot, it's always really easy to be able to get that stopper knot out if I really need to. But if I use it for a cross tie or a wash stall or inside my horse trailer, I'll never use a stopper knot. I always rely on that drag to help me hold my horse. For me, the clip is a simple convenience of moving them from the outside of my trailer to the inside of my trailer. The portability of the clip is designed for me, but it's that smooth, steady relief that can be so important to my horse.